how much power do you actually need when the grid goes down? Because here's where most people make their first costly mistake. The Tesla Powerwall 3 delivers 13.5 kilowatt hours of storage with 11.5 kilowatts of continuous power. Now, what does that actually mean for your daily life? It means you can simultaneously run your refrigerator, keep your lights on, power your internet for remote work, watch TV, and yes, keep your central air conditioning running all at the same time. That 11.5 kilowatts of continuous power isn't just a number on a spec sheet. It's the difference between maintaining your normal lifestyle during an outage and rationing power like you're living in a blackout. Click the link above to watch our full guide on Tesla Powerwall 3 later. Now, the Enphase IQ10C offers 10.08 kilowatt hours of storage with 7.08 kilowatts of continuous power. That's still substantial power, but here's where things get interesting. With 7.08 kilowatts, you're going to have to make choices during an outage. You can charge your electric vehicle or you can run your air conditioning, but you probably can't do both simultaneously. You can power your home office or you can run your pool pump, but again, you'll need to prioritize. Some experts describe the 10C as delivering about 75% of one Powerwall 3's capability, and these numbers confirm exactly that. But before you assume Tesla is the obvious winner, there's a crucial factor that changes everything. 